you, you, and you, and you. Welcome, or welcome back to our channel. I'm Christina, and I make ASMR videos, and this is an ASMR story. That's why I am whispering. Hello again, my dears, and thank you for joining me tonight for another true crime story. This time it is a soft spoken one. I have already uploaded a whispered one, so I am trying to alternate because according to a survey I've done on uh, the community tab half of you love whispering stories and the other half uh, love um, soft-spoken ones so I'm just doing my best and trying to alternate the stories Today's story is again extremely sad and frustrating and it was suggested to me so I have received uh, a lot of suggestions for in investigating between quotation marks looking into different stories and, and presenting them to you and I will try to um, do all of them. So the first case that had uh, has been suggested to me was that of um, the case of a beautiful and very young girl called Molly Bish. Um, who disappeared um, in June 2000 disappeared on a summer day Molly Ann Bish was a 16 year old girl from Massachusetts and the case is again extremely sad and frustrating the case was considered the largest search in the state of Massachusetts uh, history so let's go back in time to the summer go back to the summer of 2000 Molly Bish was born on August 2nd, 1983 in Warren, Massachusetts, USA so she was only 16 years old she was a really beautiful girl all girls that age are beautiful but she was somehow angelically looking with blonde hair and beautiful smile she was an ordinary teenager extremely responsible 
a hard-working girl who had just started dating a boy. Her brother used to work as a lifeguard and he decided to let her do the job. He thought it was time for her to start working as a lifeguard. And Cummings spawned in Warren, Massachusetts. This pond is a small pond, um, kind of isolated. If you do not know where to go, it's really difficult to find that location. It's surrounded by trees and by forests. Um, the community Molly grew up in was a loving one, very safe place to raise your children. It was considered like this, that kind of place where everybody knows everybody. suspicious indeed, but it, as I told you, it was a safe place, nothing wrong had happened there, um, so she, she thought that it was just someone who came there for hunting or for um, fish, to, in order to fish. On. Um, next day, June 27th, Molly's mother drove her to the pond, to Cummings Pond. They had stopped on their way to buy some water from a local Market, supermarket. Her mother dropped her, 
was near the lifeguard post but she considered the area safe because there was no sign of the stranger he had seen the previous day However, there was another witness who later reported of seeing a moustache man in the pond's parking lot just minutes before Molly's arrival. A local orca also reported seeing the white car parked. somewhere close to to the pond as I have told you it was a secluded area that pond was surrounded by forests there were a lot of paths in that forest uh, twisted and you had to really know the area very well to to that pond and pretty sure that her daughter was safe Molly's mother left and let her daughter, daughter do her job but when the first children came to the pond for their swimming lessons one of the mother noticed that, noticed that the lifeguard station was empty. So um, there was a pair of sandals next to the station. The whistle was there, but Molly was not. And the mother was kind of annoyed and thought that being a teenager she went to met one of her friends or something like that. So before I forgot to tell you that before starting her job, um, Molly experienced a, um, a sad thing. Uh, one of her friends had, while um, was riding the bike, had an accident and was in hospital. But still, um, Molly was strong enough. to start working in spite of being really affected by that that event so that mother saw the Molly's chair empty but she decided to and um, do the job for a while and uh, she informed Molly's boss that she left the station leaving behind a whistle and her, her sandals hours later police contacted parents and to let them know that Molly had been on duty that day but there was no lifeguard all day long and that 
but the police was contacted in May 2003 and they started a very intense search in the area Meanwhile, because the case was so um, famous to say so the police started to receive a lot of phone calls and a lot of persons told that they saw Molly very well and alive it's, it's really cruel I, I know that dead persons wanted to help but for the parents that was a real torture but somehow they hoped their daughter was still alive and um, all their hopes vanished when assume that she was murdered and buried there in the forest and somehow the parents had some closure but I have to tell you that justice has never been murder in this case I know it's frustrating really frustrating on when Molly was supposed to be 20 she was put to rest by her parents He went hunting around the pond and 
he came to fish in the pond and he really matched the description provided by Molly's mother I'm it's really strange so we have a person looking exactly like the man seen by Molly's mother that remember that stranger she saw in a car parked in the pond's parking lot a day before Molly's disappearance a person known as a fisherman about the 1990 murder of Holly but he was not charged as I have told you uh, the evidence led investigators to another person named considered a person of interest in Holly's case also, but this person died in 2003 There was another suspect who kidnapped a teenage girl in 1990s and who had been in the area Um, but there 
in the, the case but still he was found dead inside his home in 2016 and it is said that investigators received new info and they have new evidence that led them to investigate him consider the possibility that the two cases are could be related but still up to nowadays no one has been charged no one has been arrested nobody Bait for this, but let's hope that there's a special place in hell for them, for person like, persons like this. So. Consider subscribing if you are not a subscriber. Thank you very much again. And if you have any suggestions for new cases, please leave your suggestion below. Thank you very much again. Goodbye to you. And